Miss Karen, we had D23 this past week. Uh, this past, well, yesterday, what am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> A lot of stuff dropped. We had some Marvel, we had some Star Wars, but we also had Miss <sighs> Haley voicing the role of Miss Little Mermaid. I reacted to the trailer. If you guys oh, want to go yeah. check that out, it is on my channel right now. But let me go ahead and pull up this trailer. And let's go ahead and take a gander at it again real quick because it's just so darn good. It's just so darn oh, good. <laughs> I, got, I, it. I got you, bro. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. This oh, wonderful so sister right good. here, Holly Bailey. I'm, I'm, I, I, I love your enthusiasm. I, I mean, oh my is this, gosh. Where, where, how you feeling about this? Is this your most anticipated? Where are you at? First, I gotta say, I have a very specific memory. This is my favorite Disney story. It's my favorite, and I remember growing up and playing with some Barbies, and someone mm -hmm. said, "Oh, you can't play. There's no black Barbie. There's no black mermaids." Damn. And this movie just, ah, ah, I'm going to cry. I'm so excited because Disney, this really, for me, brought back the magic. I feel like we've been a, a little over marveled over Disney. Now that there's Disney Plus, it's just like, ah, Disney, Disney. I felt like this, just this little teaser trailer really captured what Disney was all about, which is magic and fantasy and i think if you can capture people in the first few seconds of your storytelling and if you can give us that feeling that makes you know you get goosebumps and the hairs in the back of your neck stand up and you start tearing up which i can't this is like the 20th time i've seen the trailer um <laughs> and uh, that's what disney's all about like it's a bit oversaturated but this for me feels like disney like bringing it home bringing it back to what it was all about and I'm just so excited for young girls to um, experience just the magic and the fantasy of this live action version. And now that technology has come so far, mm -hmm. and now that, um, I hate the word woke, but inclusion right, is more right. of a big deal that you can't say. I, I'm happy because another little girl is not gonna have to hear, well, there's no black mermaids. Right, right, right. That's horrible. I'm, I'm there's really all sorry. Kind, there's all kinds of mermaids, and I'm excited. I mean, her father's being played by Javier Bardem. I'm so excited for my Latino brothers and sisters. It's a multicultural cast. Lynn manuel Miranda is going to blow us away. He's going to blow us away. David Diggs is doing the voice of Sebastian. I mean, Hamilton, come on. I'm expecting some bops. I'm expecting um, to be bobbing my head. Yeah, like, me I better come out of there dancing. I'm just so excited that they're bringing the magic. I am too. I am too. And I, I have to say, while I was looking forward to this, Kim, um, I am now looking forward to it a bit more just from your enthusiasm and your passion that you have. You, you're really getting me excited. Uh, I can't wait now, to be honest with you. Uh, this comes out next May, May the 26th, I believe. And so, you know, it's not that far. Was that 10 months if I'm doing my math correctly? Not too far. Not yeah, too not, far. Not, not too far. Yeah, that's yeah. May 26th of next year. I think it's going to look wonderful. 
Uh, hopefully, it's better than Pinocchio. I think you know. Holy I don't know if goodness! I'm, I'm just. Teasing. <laughs> I have I haven't seen it, but I, I've heard nothing but bad things about it. It has to be. Yeah, yeah it, it has, has to be. To be. It has Please, to be. but you know, I was really looking at a lot of the creators, um, a lot of the writers on on this project. They, uh, I think, three of the writers wrote on the original 1989 Little really? Mermaid. Really? Okay. And that movie brought the magic. And um, there are also um, some directors, a lot of uh, writers from Mulan. The writer and uh, co-director of Mulan is actually on this project. So those okay. movies, they just brought the magic. Uh, they wrote on a lot. A few of the writers wrote on Aladdin. These, they have a, a, a veteran crew that are are veterans of the Disney magic. They understand it. And I think they're going to bring it. And I, and I, I, I love the cast because little girls, little boys, the, the big kids, the big kids, we, no matter what color you are, you're going to have something there for you. And that is what I'm so excited about. Right on. And I, I got to pull it up right here on the screen. You're, you're correct. Ron Clements and John Musker. Uh, or yeah. attached to the 89 adaptation. Yeah, they did and Moana, yeah. That's uh, wonderful right there. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, I know that it got a bunch of backlash from some uh, haters out there because they wasn't too happy with the multicultural cast, but we don't care about that over here. Brandon, you know, you know so. what? But, but also the thing about if it's a biography, I get it. If the culture right. and the color of the character is integral to the storytelling, okay, I get it. But... If it's fantasy, the whole idea of fantasy is you can be anything. True, true. You and let me, let me and let me, let me ask you this real quick. I don't know if you've been watching the Rings of Power. When I posted my review, uh, I got a lot of backlash. And I just generally, I, I don't follow J.R.R. Tolkien or know anything about Lord of the Rings or Rings of Power. But I got a bunch of nasty comments like, this is ridiculous. And the race swapping. And I just asked a genuine question. This year, like, hey, is, are black people not allowed to show up? And I just didn't know. And people were just like, you're racist and you're stupid and all, all kinds of nonsense. Is it is that accurate or, or are they, you know, blowing, you know, farts out in the wind with, I, I, with that I, commentary? I, I think that's an overreaction. OK, if look, let me. OK. And they brought up the Black Panther thing, too. Like, what if there was white Wakandans, you know, and so again, again, if the color and the nationality of the character is not integral to the storytelling, then you can bend all you want. That's that's how I feel. If you, Daniel Day-Lewis did uh, Lincoln and he did mm -hmm. a fantastic job, amazing actor. If you would cast um, Denzel Washington as Lincoln, could he do a great <laughs> job? Sure, but it wouldn't be true to the actual history. If right. you wanna argue, about the historical history of Middle Earth. Not real, my friends. Gotcha. It's fantasy. Gotcha. Then then don't freak out about it. So, you know, so if certain characters, the way they describe them, or it's important because they were part of a Scottish tribe, they were Irish, there were Irish blood running through them. I can understand the anger and I myself would be like, you know what? Being Irish or Scottish, that's important to that character. Let's leave it alone. But if they've got tiger blood running through their veins, then, I mean, let it go. <laughs> right on. Get over it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, again, this is coming out May, to the, May the 26th of 2023. We all want Miss Holly Bailey to win over here. I'm a fan of hers and I'm going to become one. And so please let us know whether you're watching this via live on the replay or are you excited about this film, The Little Mermaid, the live action, live action adaptation. What are your thoughts? Again, please let us know down in the comments section.